Hi and welcome to Rebel Gents, I'm Frostbite, and today we'll be going over, or through the campaign of Zelda, the Ocarina of Time. One of the classics. Okay, so let's just get started here. I just do have a profile on her somewhere, if it wants to start. I went, I went for the old classic, just the name is Link. I we might have to endure the whole beginning again, because, you know, that's what ROMs do these days, because they're annoying. Long I've served as a guardian spirit, I am known as the DQ tree. Dun dun dun. The children of the forest. The I can't even pronounce that word. The Kokori? Kokori. Has her own fairy. However, there is one boy who does not have a fairy. And it so happens to be the main character. Yeah. Just as you do. Now are we going to some sort of dream? So the graphics are just outstanding for the 99, isn't it really? There's more detail on that horse than there is on the people. Especially Link's face. Look, Gagana Dwarf is completely more detailed than Link. Look at Link's face, that little triangle nose. It's the only 3D aspect of his entire face. O oh, Navi the fairy, listen to my words, the words of the Deagle tree. Thou shalt sunset the climate of evil to settle upon this realm. For so long, the forest the source of life has stood as a barrier to tearing outsiders and maintaining the order of the world. I don't know why I'm doing a sort of Brian Butterfield voice. It seems the time has come for the boy without a pharaoh to begin his journey. The youth whose destiny is to lead Hyrule to the path of justice and truth. Navi, go now. Find our young friend and guide him to me. Now, come on. Spam the A button. Diddly, diddly, diddly. I just love how Navi can just sort of fly around at this. Like freedom. It's freedom of a fairy. Oh, and her beautiful voice as well. Hey, look, listen. So, yeah. Obviously, not the brightest fairy, flies into fences. And now she's just going to trespass upon my property without me even inviting her in. Yeah. As a fairy does. So sort of strolls on in. It's funny, in every single game, Link is so lazy, but then, obviously, you don't go to sleep very much when you actually start playing the game. So, he's not that lazy at all, so I'll take that back, Navi. He has to go and save a princess. Do, do, I like how it hits partner. Like Navi's little love story with Link. For those who haven't played it, I'm sorry for the spoiler. Okay, I'm using a Nintendo 64 gamepad here, um, so it's quite good. If you press up on the yellow arrows, which obviously is not selected up there, because obviously Navi hasn't given you the option yet, indoors it brings you into a first sort of third person view. I'm not sure if you can go any further. Well, you can get Navi out and sidestep. And you just press up again and it returns you to this format. So let's go outside. Such a beautiful forest when there's not really that many trees that you can explore. She must be the co-founder of Yahoo. Who knew? I don't take the ladder. I want to roll. I'm too hardcore. I 
Finally, a fairy came to you, Link. Wow, that's great news. I'm so happy for you. Now you're a true... I'm, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that thing. Now you're a true hero, Link. Yeah, I know. I'm going to go and fight fucking Ganondorf now. Yep, it's quite an honour to talk to the great Duke tree. Yeah, I know. I haven't even been there yet. Cause they're holding me up. Need, need to get him. So this is the village. Straight away. Okay, you're going to need to start collecting some rupees. You can just forage around for stuff like that. But you also need the sword. So if you go up the ramp here. It's quite easy to get to. It's not exactly hard or anything. No, Navi, I'm not, not my luck over there. I want to go in there. I'm pretty sure if you hold on A, you speed up. Oh, Navi, hello. That little rug where I am. If you go this way, there should be a blue repeat to help you on your way. Okay. The sword will just be up around the corner here. Oh, I want to get the other blue rupee though. Do do, and here should be the chest. You got the sword of on the equipment subscreen. Yeah, there's a there's a bug in amongst all of this with the whole start screen. I'll show you quickly after. There's this. So when you press start, it'll go oh no. This is a good version. Actually shows you the map as well. Let's equip the sword, shall we? Well it's not really a sword, it's more of a dagger. Okay, so let's save while I'm here. Okay, let's try and beat this boulder background before it hits me. So now that you've got the sword, um the guy that's obviously guarding the um, Deku tree now requires you to go get a shield. So now you need to forage as many rupees as you can. I believe it's 20 or 30 rupees. I have to go just to double check a second. A little 8-bit music in the background is always good for Link games. And now we have to look up here to the girl that's loitering on top of the shop. Yeah, that's how you use a fairy. It's so great that you finally have a fairy. Yes, I know. Oh, you already told me how to. That's how I got to find you in the first place. It's not L on the original N64 controllers. It's Z. For some reason, I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure what L actually does. Have a look. Oh, L toggles my map. I'm not sure why there. Okay, well, I'm going to shop it. Let's have a look. 40 rupees. Okay, we quit. We're almost halfway there, so let's have a little walk around. At this point, I'm going to fast forward and quickly forage around for rupees and stuff like that, so I'll just mute my mic and I'll fast forward this.
Okay, so once you finally get 40 rupees, um, you can just throw a few rocks here. Yeah, so then it should give you 40 rupees, which is enough for a DQ shield. So if you keep on going here, obviously jump over the little platforms. Talk to the guy who's apparently too short to look over the counter. If you pan to the right, you should see the DQ shield. you got the DQ shield. Switch the equip and subscreen and select the shield. Press A to equip it. Now the basic instructions in the wire. Da 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 da. Yep. And that. So now we just quickly equip the shield. Oh. There we go. Yes. Okay, so once you've got the shield, you can now head on over to the DQ tree. I'm just obviously messing around there with my shield. Let's see what I can do with it. It changes the camera as well when obviously you go into shield mode. So fresh up to speak to this guy. If you want to see the great DQ tree, you should at least equip a sword and a shield. Huh? What's that? Oh, you have a DQ shield. And what's that? Is that the Karokarababa sword? Good grief. Well, even with all the stuff, a wimp is still a wimp, huh? I, Great Mido, will never accept you as one of us. Because I'm ginger, like you. I'm not quite sure if he's ginger or blonde. He wears a gay hat. It's not as cool as mine. Well, you can fight these little things, which then give you DQ sticks. You only need, like, one or two throughout the entire dungeon if used correctly. I'll show you an easier way to better do it. So, so, yeah, just get as many as you can for the time being. Oh, got hurt back then. So, yeah, even if they're, like, dancing and stuff, they can still hurt you. Free Deku Tree, I'm back! Oh, Nabu, the last have returned. Listen carefully to what I, Deku Tree, am about to tell you. My slumber these past moons have been restless and full of nightmares. As the servants of evil gain strength, a vile climate pervades the land and causes nightmares. Link, the time has come to test thy courage. I have been cursed. I need you to break the curse with your wisdom and courage. Thou have courage enough to undertake this task? Of course I do. Then enter brave Link, and now not Nabi. Nabi the fairy, now must aid you, Link. So from now on, Nabi will now shout three words at us. Thank you, DQ Tree. Okay, as I sort of run towards my mouth, I'll be ending the video, um, making way for part two. So, please stay tuned for the next part, I will be going through the tree dungeon. Um, this is Frostbite signing off, and goodbye.